Okay, so then... The level, yeah, the next quest is at level 25. So I'll go ahead and do a couple of the hunter logs. And I haven't done any of them yet, so let's look at where, where some of these are. One in Eastern Thandalin. In Southern Thandalin. Yeah, three in Southern Thandalin. Two in Western Thandalin. Let's... No, Western Thandalin is going to be too high level. Let's go ahead and do the Eastern Thandalin ones. That is the... This guy. Wellwick Wood. And there's three in... Uh, Southern Thandalin. That'll do next. And then I don't think I'll be high enough level to do the ones in Western Thandalin. Because it's over by Cape Westwind and the Footfalls. Go ahead and just teleport to Camp Drybone. And then Wellwick Wood is over here. So I'll fly over there. And I've got the coordinate locations. There they are. Okay, let's take out these guys. And you know what? I just realized. One, that I didn't have a food buff. And two, that I really should be using my chocobo. I believe my chocobo is set to DPS. Because there's like no reason you shouldn't. I think I only need four of these. Okay. But before I move on, I think there's one in South Shroud. Okay, there's East Shroud, Central Shroud, and South Shroud. Let's do South Shroud first because the entrance is right here. I guess I could just run up through the shrouds. Yeah, I'll go through and do South Shroud, Central Shroud, and then East Shroud. Oh, it looks like there's another one in South Shroud in upper paths, but they might be too high level for me. Okay, let's see where... Okay, so this one's in 1724. Okay, that's gonna be all the way up. Yeah, that's upper paths, and then these are... This one's in... I mean, South Shroud, right? Yeah. Silent Arbor, which is over there. Yeah. So I'll do upper paths first, even though I think that those are level 30. I'll check that first. I think this thing's level 30. I guess I could just check that here on the wiki. Okay, no, there are 23. We should be fine. Yeah, there they are. Okay, and then one more, right? Oh, no, only needed two. Okay, and then they're in Silent Arbor at 23-22. It kills some um, river yardzons. In fact, they're inside this well river. Yep, there they are. Need two more. Yep, there's one back there. I think I don't see you. I think you're safe. Okay, nope, that didn't give me as much XP as I thought. Okay, let's head up into Central Shroud. Uh, that should be east on the right. There's two in east and one in central. I'm going to go to central first. Wait, there's two in east. Yeah, let me do let me do east first. Oh, no, there's three in east. Okay. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, no, there's still one in south. In upper paths. 2120. Should be like right around here. I'm in still I'm in south, right? Yes. Oh there it is. There's one. Okay, where are you? There's another one. Oh, I only needed two. Okay. Let me look at the actual hunter log. East Shroud. I want to look if there's any more in, in Southern. Two, three in East Shroud. Okay. So there's three in East Shroud. We'll make sure to get all three of those. I get the feeling doing this entire hunter log won't get me quite enough to 25, which is going to be a little annoying, but whatever. Okay, both these are 1521. And then 21... 
20. Okay, let's try this first. Maybe in here? Yeah, there they are. I wonder if I can take multiple enemies. I can do some AoE. Nope, this was a bad idea. Oh, right, I just have my Chuckle Boy healing, not a... Uh... Yeah, because healing is much better than DPS. Yeah, I'm not going to bother doing this again. Thankfully, my Chocobo is the absolute goat and has healed me through this entire thing. Okay, so I need one more of those bugs and like probably like one or two more the glow flies. I didn't look. Okay, I only need one more glow fly. That's all I should need, and then let me attack this thing. Okay. Now there should be one more. Should be so I did the east tread ones now at 2120. Just if we have let's head head directly east from here. And these are overgrown ivies. There's four of them. Like right down here. No? Is this this is it's an east tread, right? Oh oh no no no. 2329. There they are. Okay. Now let's head over to Central Shroud and get the. Should be one in Central Shroud left. Yeah, Central Shroud, these guys. These guys, I think, might be a little strong. Let me see. They're 31 to 34, so that might be hard. Should probably do the Thanalin ones first. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try and kill it. See if I can. I have potions and I have a absolutely goaded chocobo that can heal me up. Hey, okay, where is he? He is in 1221. Not those. They just look like those. Okay, this is 12. There they are. There's one. Nope, let's not get hit by that. I'm gonna need to kite this guy if I even like have a chance. It's a bit scuffed, but it worked. I'm gonna wait until my this was on cooldown, but, uh, you know, I should probably use the higher level potion. It's like most of my health. Let's do max range. I figured he was going to use bad breath. Get uh, out of range of him. Reapply my dot. Use a scathe. Just kite him around and use scathe. Maybe he'll use a bad breath in a second. There it is. I can do a fire spell. That'll finish him off. Okay, so now I need two more of those. 
Now the question is, where's another one? There's one. I'm definitely not high enough level to really be taking these guys on, but uh, doesn't matter that much. We'll use bad breath right away. Right? There he is. Make sure not to draw the uh, that lightning strike, lightning sprite. Here we go. Wait a couple seconds for my health to come back. For my health potions to come back. And I'll take on this guy. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I thought I got hit by I thought I got hit by the bad breath. Come on. Almost died there. Just kite him and scathe. There we go. That was probably a bit of a waste of time, but whatever. Okay, so we finished up all the uh, the shroud ones. All that's left is Thanalan. I'm gonna head over to southern the southern Thanalan just because I want to. Let's see. Ilda. I'm going to do the southern Thanalan ones, and then I think there's... I did the eastern Thanalan. Yeah, there's three in southern Thanalan. And then there's one, two in western Thanalan. Let's see, where are each of these? Okay, there's one at 29. There's two at 29. Try doing those first. Oh, there, there's one right here. There are no more around here? That's two. Let's look for the other. Uh, the other. Let's see, there's some at 21, 12. And there's one at 24, 9. Yeah, actually, I need to go over near, closer to 20s. Or X coordinate twenties. There's there's one. Let me do that one. Okay, there's a, another wasp. Let's get him too, and that'll finish off the wasps. Okay. And then twenty four nine. Oh, it must be inside this camp. Yep, there's one. Okay, I need four of those guys. There's another one there. Probably need to put the other guy to sleep. Nope, apparently not. He's just talking to no one. Okay, I need two more of those guys. There's one. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, right, I need one more. Grab this one. Okay, this should finish off this guy. And there's one more in this zone. Uh, where is it? Got the wasps, we got those guys. Okay, Southern Thanland, Fire Sprites. Red Labyrinth 1320. There they are, Fire Sprite. So do I have any upgraded gear? Cause I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm really glad I thought to summon the chocobo, though.
Yep, I do. I look a little less ridiculous. I've never actually been over here. I've literally never taken this entrance because I literally just would go around. There we go. Almost 26. So let's go ahead and go over to Western Thanland and do the two that are supposedly in footfalls. And that's actually like pretty much the entirety of the log. There's just one in Lenosha. Oakwood. I'll just do that later and then I'll get the extra 20k XP. And then the fourth and fifth logs I'll just do on my own time because they don't give very much experience. Uh, relative to their level. So you need to be level 30 for this one and 40 for that one. I remember back when I was playing ARR, I didn't know I had the, uh, the tickets. What are they called again? The Waking Sands tickets. And I didn't know about the Limza deck, so I took, I would take the Chocobo all the way from Old Da to, oops, don't want to run into that, all the way to Footballs in Vesper Bay. At least they didn't actually run there, because I know there were people that actually ran, like, ran the whole distance. I like this guy. Yep, there, well, there's the scavengers, which are what we need. One of the ones we need. There we go, that's 26. Got Thunder 2. Need to look at what that does. Okay, that was those, those were the scavengers. So Thunder 2 is a slightly stronger dot that doesn't last as long. I don't know when that would be useful. I'm not going to worry about it now. I'm just going to keep using the Thunder 1 because that's usually what I see people use. Okay, there's, a th there's one of the Lapping Toads. I knew they were over here. Okay, this should be the third one, and then where's another? Just need one more. And I'll finish off the last one later, but we're gonna go ahead and do the quest after this. Oops. Let's use Thunder one, Thunder two, and see if it's any better. The thing is, it might be like using Medica one and Medica two on White Mage, where you should basically never fish for free cure, and it's more efficient to just to use regular Medica two. No, whatever it's called. There we go. Let's head back to Ulda. I think I'll just teleport there, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Any new gear? Yep. At least I look a little less ridiculous. Yeah. You know, sit in the same place as I oh, as I always have been. Yeah. So much for not looking ridiculous. All right, get back to this, do the level 25 quest. Let's see what uh, Coco Boogie is going to do about Coco Boosie. Oh, wait, we're talking. We supposed to talk to the other guy, Coco Bigo. The hidden chapter. Guildmaster Coco Bigo wishes to enlist your assistance. Ah, oh, brilliant. I saw you coming this time. I've been watching since Kokobuki told us about that dreadful business with Kokobusi. We must locate our unfortunate younger sibling as soon as possible and... and deal with him. But Kokobuki is not his usual unflappable self. It frightens me to see our eldest so indecisive. Terrifies me, in fact. Perhaps you might speak with him and help banish this air of uncertainty. I guess. I guess I can try. Brilliant. Long have I agonized over Gokobusi's plight, and the measures I may, might take to extricate him from it. It would not, not do to call upon my thaumaturge colleagues. No, they would simply seek to obliterate my brother outright. Our teachings from the yawning abyss allow for no other alternative. There is, however, one tiny glimmer of hope. 
I have had word that the scholars who requested the destruction of Mormo's urn have returned from their expedition. They are currently in Camp Drybone, blowing the ink dry on their collective findings regarding that wretched, wretched void scent. I would ask that you go to these experts of otherworldly phenomena and beg permission to pursue their work. Okay, I mean, I can try. But the Dark Knight in me is saying, uh, just do it. Okay, so, uh, Drybone is Eastern Thanlin. Okay, where are you? There you are. If you seek the definitive work of Mormo, then seek no further. I have penned an in-depth analysis of the most cunning of a most cunning ritual, a method contrived by the mages of Eld to annihilate the soul of this especially potent void scent. When it comes to draining such creature of its etheric energies, one must ah. But I have not the time to stand here explaining the intricacies of shaping arcane pottery. Here. Take my chapter and read it at your leisure. Uh, okay. Let's check the other guys then. He seemed, uh, quite willing to give me his information. I was expecting him to, uh, expect... I mean, it's a Lollafeld. Don't you expect them to, like, try and extort you for at least a little bit of your life savings? Maybe I've just been hanging out with Tatar too much. And maybe the merchants of Ulda. You wish to learn of Mormo? Right this instant? But you've barely... How did you... Well, I suppose I could spare a copy of my writings. I've always prepared several extra sets to share with potential publishers. I can well understand your curiosity. Mo Mormo is truly fascinating, even among the oddities of the Void Scent. She's far too powerful to make use of the tiny holes that open between our realities, and thus must send across only her spirit to possess a corpse or some other suitable host. You'll find it all explained in the second chapter. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Okay, where's the third guy? Oh, there he is. You're interested in reading the book of Mormo? Of course, of course. It, it would be a pleasure to share our findings with the fellow student of the Void Scent. Here is the first chapter, my own humble contribution to our research. It tells the tale of how we became aware of the creature's existence and delves into the nature of the urn that imprisoned our fellow power. What, you just need to head back now? Yeah, head back to the Thaumaturge's Guild. Let's go. Like, are we just going to somehow extract the spirit and put it into another urn? Oops, not. Yeah, that, that's the right door. I don't think it's going to go that way. Okay, Kokobuki, this is what I collected, but I don't think we got much help. Much hope. Do you have three chapters of the Book of Mormo? Yep, yep, here they are. The histories unearth into the ruins of Sil Silde. It depicts the suffering wrought by singularly powerful void scent, the cunning and terrible seductress known as Mormo. With genius born of desperation, the mages of the now fallen city fa fashioned an urn that would drain and imprison, imprison the etheric vitality of any creature that laid a hand or claw upon, upon it. Mormo, believing she was receiving a gift of appeasement from the Bulgari. Belegured, sure. Citizens found her very essence drawn forth and trapped within the inscrolled pot. Over the course of several centuries, the captive theric energy was intended to weaken and dissipate, allowing any surviving descendants to shatter, safely shatter the urn and thus destroy Mormo's innervated spirit. The pot's lid was never to be opened again. To do so would release the ravenous void scent, bring her soul to enslave the nearest mortal vessel. Yes, we know. This possession of this nature is irreversible. The only mercy afforded such a host should be swift and decisive 
demise. Well, crud. Hmm. <laughs> this explains Mormo's fascination with the thaumature shide. Kukobusi's body provided little arcane sustenance for the weakened void scent, forcing her to prey upon richer sources of aether to restore her hideous power. This morsel of information may prove most vital. In fact, it may be the only glimmer of hope our poor sibling has. Pray hand this work over to Coco Pico. I shall be along momentarily. I don't see how that was good, but okay. <laughs> this is the work of devoted to studying that nasty void scent. I should hope it pro provides some hint of salvation. Kukubuki, these passages hold naught but misery and despair. It seems we have little choice but to employ our traditional approach. Though fraught with danger, there is one solution that promises an alternative to killing Kokobusi. If we fail, however, it will likely mean death for us all. Who is this mad mage that poses as our eldest brother? What? Of avoiding the threats, of eliminating the risks. Is that not how we thaumaturges do battle? With each passing moment, Mormo draws even ever closer to her full strength. It pains me to even suggest it, but we should strike now, Kokobuki, while the void scent is yet feeble. I share the self same sentiment. Sorrowful though it may be, we must slay our enslaved sibling, and soon. Listen, brothers, for my solution is thus. In return for releasing Kokobusi from Mormo's thrall, I will offer the Void Set a chance to glut herself on my mana. That's not gonna work. You, you cannot! The succubus will drain you to a lifeless husk, and such a feast will awaken all her terrible magics! The will of my power is vast. I wager Mormo's thirst will be slacked before does my spirit fully runs dry, no, I doubt that. And the newly enviled Void Scent, she will then face that combined F wrath of Brillian and four guild masters of Thaumaturgy. Again, this seems like a really bad idea. How can we hope to prevail against this paragon of preternatural potency? We have always avoided adversaries against whom we held no advantage. The fault lies with me. Ever have I encouraged such avoidance and taught only the wisdom of certain victory. It is time we learned the courage to fight battles of unsure outcome. And it is you, Brillian, that I ask to instruct us. There is yet one chapter left in the Yawning Abyss, one that is customarily hidden from newer members. Undertake the trial found within and show my brothers what it means to be brave. How can you say such a thing of poor Brillian when e even her guildmasters have yet to attempt that ghastly test? I bet it's kill three, kill three boars or something, right? The arcane might you all possess is far greater than you believe. Brillian, once you deem yourself prepared for the lesson of the true final chapter, beat us at in the hollowed hall of Thal's respite. Respite. That's an Eastern Than one, I believe. I'm not hating Thaumaturge slash Black Mage so far. All the abilities except for like Thunder 2 make sense and have a very distinct purpose. I mean, like, I, I didn't get Scathe, understand Scathe at the beginning, but. Like, maybe Thunder 2 is just supposed to replace Thunder 1. I don't think it matters that much anyway. Okay, boys. What are we going to do? What's the challenge? I regret having to drag you into our family troubles, but I am confident that, with the many and terrible trials you have bested already, you will prevail once more. The hidden chapter of the Yawning Abyss presents a trial that challenges the accumulated knowledge and skills of a single thaumaturge. You must employ all the tools at your disposal if you hope to see victory this day. Ogoboha is not too thrilled. Let the trial commence. 
Yeah, I bet I just use fire like five times and I win. What do I need to kill? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no escape from this abyss. The void spills into a realm on wings of shadow. Whatever. Let's put the other one to sleep. That was easy. Didn't realize they had this little health. Not Thunder, too. Nope, not Blizzard. Uh, is this supposed to be a difficult trial? Put the left one to sleep. I could probably just... Oh, sleep is an AoE attack. That's right. Uh, right. Did this recover some mana? I'm just gonna try doing Fire 2 on them and see how much damage it does. So Fire 2 does 100 potency. Okay, whatever. Yeah, sure, I'll just do this. Oh, right, no mana. Wrong button. Looks like uh, Fire 2 does the same damage as Blizzard in Blizzard 2. Oh, wait, no. Umbral Ice should increase it more. I don't I don't remember. Whatever. Well, that was easy. Oh, that was it? Okay. I mean, I get that I'm five levels above, but still. Am I supposed to be using a scathe on these guys? to take them out quickly. Let's restore some mono. MP. And then did Thunder too that time. Probably should do Thunder one since I'm gonna. This fight's gonna last longer. Er, yeah, this fight. Take a step back. That's Thunder too. Probably only need like one more fire and a scathe. Yep. That was easy. I can see people getting a little bit overwhelmed by that though. Uh, I can't stop shaking, but I think. I think this might actually be excitement. Do you see now, my brothers, with the primal energies of thaumaturgy at my your command, there is no threat which you cannot overcome. Perhaps there is a chance to save Kokobusi. I need to reconsider some of my strategies. It seems we have been wasting our potential. I would never have believed it possible for a mage to show such courage and live. What a wonder Berlian was. I feel my fingers itching, flinging fire with fury. Hmm. <laughs> Imagine, my siblings, what towering enemies you might topple should you stand firm, together. Thank you, Berlian. Your inspiring display of magnificent of magecraft has set the minds of my brothers reeling with new possibilities. 
Let us now return to the guild and discuss what is to come. Okay, let's head on back to the Uldah then. Alright, Kokobuki. Now that I've gotten you all to grow up here, maybe we'll be able to deal with Kokobusi. What a formidable team you all shall make. Kokobiko, Kokobani, Kokobezi, Kokoboha, Brillian. Even Mormo must wither before the onslaught of our combined thaumaturgy. But before we engage the Void Scent, perhaps some time is needed for my brothers to unlearn their ingrained inclinations. Meanwhile, I suggest you hurl yourself into the chasm of your studies. Your fearless thaumaturgy is a beacon to us all. Okay, so 21. I think I already have that. Yeah, yeah, I've got that already. 17, 15. Okay, I should do the legs, except there's no legs. So, 25. Oh, this isn't even a... Yeah. That's not even a mage item. 